The Department of Pathology at Dalhousie University is located in the heart of Halifax, Nova Scotia, on the east coast of Canada. It is the only medical school in the three maritime provinces and has a key role in medical education throughout those provinces. Dalhousie University is a relatively small university and so to achieve success the departments in the Faculty of Medicine really have to cooperate and collaborate. The Department of Pathology at Dalhousie University is intimately linked to the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the Capital District Health Authority. The head of the university department is automatically the head of the hospital department. One of the major developments that we have had is the creation of the Histology Research Services Laboratory. The laboratory is set up in the academic department of pathology. There are facilities for tissue preservation, microtomy, special staining, immunostaining. We also uh, offer in situ hybridization and uh, fluorescence activated cell sorting. Collaboration is important in the department here in Dalhousie because it is a small regional centre and there is a limited amount of research expertise and the hardware, the equipment to carry out this research. So it's important that we make the best of this sharing and collaborative activity. The department is committed to the discovery of new knowledge about health and disease and the application of this knowledge in both education and clinical care of the highest quality. Many people question why, with so much money put into cancer research, people still develop cancer and there is no cure. Not everybody appreciates that cancer is not a single disease, but rather a process. Some of the unique approaches that we use to the study of nuclear structure and cancer biology is live cell imaging using spinning disc laser confocal microscopy. What that means is that you can image cells at very high speed, for example, 1,000 frames per second, and catch those little minute details that might be the difference between understanding a biological process and completely missing what's going on in the cell. For me, it's a very important technique because I look at the cell cycle. And so I watch cells divide, and in our research for breast cancer, we're looking at how microtubule poisons like the taxanes, which are used to treat breast cancer, affect how the cell divides. And in resistant cells, we can actually see that difference during cell division using this type of light microscopy. Another nuclear structure that my laboratory studies is the promyelocytic leukemia nuclear body, or PML nuclear body. And what we found is that PML nuclear body number will increase following DNA damage in a linear dose increase with the dose of radiation, for example, that you treat your cells. And that can be used as a biological dosimeter for DNA damage in normal tissue. In some ways, you could use that to personalize treatment. So one DNA damaging agent might work really well for one patient A, and the PML nuclear body number goes up, and another patient PML nuclear body will not go up, and you should not then give that drug to that patient because their cells are not responding to it. And what we try to do is apply some interesting approaches, including yeast genetic screens and the zebrafish. And that might seem like an interesting choice of animal model, but it turns out that you can implant human tumors and in fact leukemias in the zebrafish. And when they're an embryo, they're immunocompromised. So you don't have to worry about an immune response in the animal, much like they do studies in immune compromised mice. But the difference being that the cost is an order of magnitude less to screen drugs in zebrafish than it is to do in the mouse. And that's a very exciting thing. Dalhousie University has the only residency training programs for laboratory medicine in Atlantic Canada and so it's essential that we provide uh, good educational opportunities and training for our residents. Many of our residents ultimately come and take positions throughout our region and some come back to work in our centre so it's really important that we ensure that there are good pathologists to provide care for our patients. The hospitals affiliated with the university serve as key referral centres for patients from the maritime provinces and occasionally from Newfoundland and Labrador. Because of this, the centre has built up considerable medical expertise and a reputation for excellence in both teaching and research. 
A number of years ago, the department identified pathology informatics as an area that needed development. The pathology informatics group is a team of analysts who have expertise both in the business of laboratory as well as the data in the laboratory and can put those two together and help to accelerate laboratory change as well as healthcare change. Inventory management is crucial in blood transfusion services because blood is very scarce. Some of our greatest accomplishments in pathology informatics would include saving the province approximately $1 million a year on their blood budget. We are also continually refining that. We are saving at least $100,000 a year by tweaking our discard rates down even further. We know that laboratory services budgets are shrinking. We also know that healthcare budgets are shrinking. We need to work smarter, we need to work harder, and informatics will help us to inform those changes and inform system transformation in the future.